Almost two weeks after violent clashes broke out in Nagorno-Karabakh, top diplomats from Azerbaijan and Armenia are meeting for talks in Moscow. A last-ditch effort to avoid a full-scale war. Azerbaijan described the talks as the last chance for Armenia to peacefully settle the dispute. Well, what are the chances of success in Moscow? Our next report explores. Azerbaijan and Armenia have agreed to a face-to-face -face meeting. Foreign ministers from both countries are meeting in Moscow. President Putin's late-night appeal on Thursday seems to have worked. Armenia has agreed to resume talks on Nagorno-Karabakh. France is hopeful of a truce by tomorrow, albeit a fragile one. But the big question is whether Moscow can rein in Azerbaijan. With Turkey in its corner, Baku has vowed to continue the offensive until Armenian troops withdraw. Heavy clashes erupted late last month in Nagorno-Karabakh. Both Azerbaijan and Armenia blame each other for the violence. The global community's calls for a ceasefire have been ineffective so far. The Minsk group, comprising the US, Russia and France, launched a mediation effort in Geneva. Closed-door talks, which Armenia refused to attend, until fighting subsided. The talks ended in a stalemate. But in Moscow, there is hope of a ceasefire. This is the first direct engagement between the two sides since hostilities began. President Putin, in his talks with both sides, focused on humanitarian concerns like the exchange of bodies and prisoners of war. Russia's regional influence could be crucial in clinching a ceasefire. On the ground, however, very little has changed. Casualties continue to mount. 376 soldiers killed, 70,000 residents displaced, and 90% of all women and children forced out of their homes. Even civilian buildings have been targeted. Azerbaijan says its city of Ganja was shelled by Armenian forces. Ethnic Armenians claim Azeri forces are pummeling the regional capital. Both sides continue to trade blame for the violence. The Moscow talks are a last-ditch effort with Turkey intent on escalating the conflict and Russia bound by a military agreement to back Armenia the conflict in the Caucasus has all the makings of a full-blown war. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching Vion, World is One.